Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at semicircles. So, in case you don't know, a semicircle is like a half circle, so like this, as opposed to a full circle, which goes all the way around. And a semicircle can be the bottom half of a circle, it could be the top half, or one of the sides. So here we have the four different equations for a semicircle. They're all very similar, but have a few differences which determine how the semicircle looks. In all these examples, you will have r, which is the radius. So for this first example, we have y equals positive root r squared minus x squared. Because y is the subject, being y equals, we are going to be on the y-axis, so up or down with our semicircle. And because it's positive, it will be up on the positive part. So this graph will look like this. This one over here is very similar, but we have a negative, meaning it will be on the bottom half. This one over here has x as the subject, meaning it will be left or right and it will be a side semicircle instead of up or down. And it is positive, meaning it will be on the positive side. And this one's the same, but it is negative. And that's the four main types of semicircles we can get. Now let's look at an example of how to graph one. So for this first example, we have y equals negative root 4 minus x squared. If you remember before, this 4 represents our radius squared. So to get our actual radius and not radius squared, we need to square root that 4, which gives us 2. So our semicircle will have a radius of 2. Now, because it is y as the subject, it will be an up or down semicircle, and since it's negative, it will be down, meaning it will look like this, and be below the x-axis. Now let's try graphing this semicircle. So if we draw a really quick graph, we have our radius of 2. So from the origin, we have 2 to this side and 2 to this side and we also have 2 below. We don't go 2 up because this is a negative semicircle so the circle will not show up here. So if we draw our graph it will look like this. So that's our semicircle and it is a top or bottom semicircle being on the negative side. We'll look at one more example. So for this example we have x equals root 9 minus y squared. Now there's nothing before this square root which means it is positive. You can write the plus if it helps you. Next up our radius remember is this spot here because that's our r squared and we just want r. We want radius not radius squared. So the square root of 9 is 3. So our radius is 3. Now we have everything we need to graph this circle. And since x is the subject, it will be one of the side circles. And since it's positive, it will be on the positive side. So since our radius is 3, if we start at the center and go right three units, it will intersect here. We also go up three units, so it will intersect here. And finally we go down three units, so it will intersect here. So our semicircle will look like this. And that brings us to the end of the video. There are a few other ways these semicircles could look, but if you want to refer to them, go back to the start of the video where I talked about them they all follow the same structure, so just make sure you follow these rules. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment, 
and please consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.